make sure you watch my video to find out how I cook kichiri and spinach herbs. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. And on the show today, I want to make rice kichiri. So I have got one and a half cup of dal, which I'm going to clean here. One and a half cup dal here I got guys. And then I'm going to clean my dal nicely and soak it with a wash and I'll put for boiling. When my doll is up, I'll show you how to make rice kitchen. I'm sorry guys, I'm not well. And uh, so many days I didn't put anything in my channel. So my mouth, like I want to have like kitchen and herbs. So now today I'm preparing kitchen and herbs for eating. And I'll show you how I make step by step rice kitchen and herbs. So guys, I got here one liter of water which I put for boiling, so now my doll goes. This is one and a half cup of doll, guys. I'm gonna let my doll cook. When my doll is halfway, I'll show you how much of rice I use for this doll. So meantime, I'll let my doll boil one time, if it's boiling one time, then I'm gonna use turmeric powder and all my other things I'll show you. So guys, here I have half teaspoon of turmeric powder, which I'm gonna put in my doll. So guys, yeah, I'm using half teaspoon of hing. You know, it kills the gas and all. When you're suffering with ulcers and all, then you don't uh, suffer stomach ache. This is the hing. So now I let my doll boil properly. So yeah, guys, I put about two cup water more on my doll to get cooked. I let my doll boil. Once my doll is busting, then I will show you how much rice for this one and a half cup doll to make rice kitchen. So guys, yeah, I got three cup of rice for making ma with one and a half cup a doll. So guys, I got one liter water here, you can see. I'm going to soak my rice. I'll soak and leave it. When my doll is about busting, then I'll wash and put my rice to cook. Guys, this is a spinach herbs, what I'm cleaning to make, to cook the kitchen, rice kitchen. This is a spinach herbs two bunch here yeah, guys so now I'm going to I, I cleaned it I cut it very very fine so when I'm braising these herbs I'll show you guys because I'm making rice kitchen and herbs so guys now I'll see my doll if it's busting you can see my doll is busting now then you're going to I wash my rice now I will place my rice in the doll this is how you guys you make rice kitchen. So now guys I will let it I'll, I'm boiling some hot water. So guys you can see my rough salt I'm using is nearly a tablespoon. So guys this is my hot water nearly a liter. So now I will leave it in low heat. I'll switch my stove into low heat and I let this rice and dal cook cook and come on nice and soft. And then I'll show you all after that how I braise rice kitchen. So guys, here I have about 50 gram of margarine, which I'm putting in my rice. You can see my rice kitchen is getting cooked, so I use margarine here. See how nice my rice kitchen is cooking. So now when I'm braising, guys, this rice kitchen, I will show you all how I'm braising it. Now guys, I'm going to braise my rice kitchen. I got one small medium onions. I got one tablespoon. I cut fine fresh garlic. One tablespoon mustard seed. I got about six dry chilies water broke and three quarter cup of oil. So now I will put my three quarter cup oil. Let my oil get heated up. Then I will use all my onions, dry chilies, garlic to fry. So now I'll put my one tablespoon mustard seed. With my mustard seed goes my one medium onion. And my one tablespoon garlic water chopped fine. And six small dry chilies. So guys, now I'll let it all fry together. All will fry, comes turn brown, then I will braise my rice kitchen. So guys, you can see my onions, everything gone brown. 
So now I braise my kitchen. You see, you braise your kitchen like this. Your onions and all must get dark brown, guys. Must get a little bit dark brown to see how you braise your kitchen. You see now, my kitchen is almost cooked. I'll leave it in low heat to get thick, like nice. It's nice and creamy, thick kitchen rice kitchen. This is how you braise your kitchen with garlic, dry chilies, and onions extra. And it's very, very tasty. That's why I say, guys, you can have it without curry. But uh, I'm going to have with the uh, herbs and kitchen rice kitchen. You can see how tasty it will be when you braise it like this with extra garlic, dry chilies, onions, mustard seed. So that's how you make rice kitchen. So now, guys, I want to braise my spinach herbs. So, guys, now this is my spinach herbs. Two bunch of spinach herbs. I got extra large tomato, what we made small pieces. I got one and a half tablespoon garlic, what I made into small pieces. And nearly a tablespoon rough salt. Nearly cup oil, small cup. One medium onions. And few dry chilies and six green chilies. So now I'll add my oil. So this is the oil. I put my chili. I put the onions. And my onions to fry. And my garlic. And my salt. I will let all these fry together, then I will place my herbs. So guys, you can see now my onions are going brown. My dry chilies and my green chilies is fried. So now I will place my herbs. This is the herbs. I chop it very fine, guys. When my herbs go down a little bit mellow, then I'll place my tomato to cook with it. So guys, now I'll place my tomato to cook with the herbs. So let my tomato cook with the herbs. So guys, when my herbs is done, I'll show you all. So guys, in low heat, I'll leave it one half an hour to cook properly my herbs. Guys, you can see my herbs is cooked now. So when I'm dishing, guys, I will show you all. Guys, you can see my kitchen and herbs is ready. That's how I wanted it, guys, to eat. I wasn't feeling well, so I wanted to make like, some kitchen and herbs and some vegetable pickle. This is what I'm having it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy it. Share it.